Greetings everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the second lecture of this course. Today, we will delve into some incredibly interesting and crucial topics pertaining to the subject matter. I trust that you're all prepared and enthusiastic to learn. We shall explore numerous concepts and ideas that will enhance your comprehension of the subject matter. Therefore, let us commence this lecture with zeal and make the utmost of this opportunity. Regarding this lecture cast, we will be going over the ACT Chemistry Week 2 outline. Regarding the chemistry lessons, for measurement and handling numbers, we will be reviewing the following concepts. Significant figure, density, mass, and volume. For particle nature of matter, we will be reviewing the intermolecular forces, the intramolecular forces, melting, boiling, evaporation, condensation, deposition, and sublimation. For the intermolecular forces lesson, we'll be going over the hydrogen bond, the dipole-dipole, and the London dispersion forces. In the attractive forces lesson, we will be going over the ionic solids, molecular solids, the atomic solids. And finally, for the crystal lattice structure, we will be going over the crystal structure, cleavage, ductility, and finally, we will be creating a mind map to summarize all the key concepts we learned throughout this week. You will also be expected to know the trends and change in boiling point whenever the intermolecular forces change between molecules. We will be solving several questions and taking several practice sheets to cover this crucial topic. Finally, for this week's expectations, first, I expect you to always review the material. Please always study the covered content in a timely manner. Make sure you review whatever we took in week one and you review what we took in week two and read ahead for whatever we will be taking in week three. Make sure to solve the self-assessment and further practice from the learning management system. This will help you harness the skills that you need to excel in your examination. Always ask and reach out whenever you need further guidance. You can contact me either via email as shown in the PowerPoint slide or through the learning management system message. That was all for today. Thank you everyone and have a lovely day.